We really hope to immerse our guests in nature, to educate them along the way, to show them how beautiful our region is, what we can do to protect it, and every tour that we run also donates money to an environmental or cultural organisation based in the region. I'm Jess from Navigate Expeditions based on the Sapphire Coast of New South Wales. We run kayaking, mountain biking and walking tours. Guests that come away on our experiences are always blown away by the beauty of the environment that we're there to show them. You know, we can show them parts of the ecology, the nature, things that they wouldn't have seen otherwise. Collaborating with other like-minded businesses in the Bega Valley have been absolutely instrumental in our tours and our operations. One of our first collaborations was with Broadwater Oysters. So we run a kayak and shack tour that's very popular. We kayak down the Pambula River, we go to Broadwater Oysters. They do a wonderful shucking school, which everyone loves. Learn how to shuck oysters, eat them, and then kayak back up the Pambula River. That tour has just been super popular and it's a really great way to work with Broadwater Oysters too. Another collaboration we have is with the Twofold Aboriginal Corporation. We collaborate with them on a kayaking tour down the Pambula River. So we have an Indigenous cultural guide that takes the group for a kayak along the Pambula River and they explain the cultural significance of the river. And we stop for a lovely morning tea, we go for a walk where they point out bush food, they talk about some of the stories of the old people. It really deepens the connection that locals and visitors can have to the Pambula River and our region in general. After kayaking the Pambula River, a lot of times, you know, we can see the Aboriginal cultural significance of the region, but we can't talk about it. It's not really our story. So I thought the only people that can talk about it is the Aboriginal Corporation themselves. That's why I came to them with the idea. So hopefully that will continue to provide training and money going into the Aboriginal Corporation, but also to continue to inspire and educate guests on the, the cultural significance and importance of the river system and the whole region region to the Indigenous people of the area. Navigate Expeditions has received so much support over the last few years. We only started in 2021, so right off the back of COVID and bushfires. So we've just jumped on all of the different events and networking opportunities and webinars and mentoring that has been made available to us. So that's from the Business Connect, the South Coast Centre of Excellence and the Sapphire Coast Destination Marketing. They've all had so many good programs that I've really found that doing a combination of all of that has given us so much benefit to different opportunities, collaborations for Navigate Expeditions. To other businesses starting out in the ecotourism industry, I would really suggest becoming accredited. I became accredited with Ecotourism Australia and that really, um, you know, it set out good guidelines and good recommendations for your business. And it's really good to have that from the very start of your business so you don't have to backtrack and put in all these new policies later on. What keeps me going and keeps me inspired is to be able to work in this beautiful nature that we call home and sharing that experience with all the guests. Everyone that comes to visit just ends up falling in love with the environment and the nature. Every time we go out on the river we see something different, experience something different or for the first time. There's no tour that is ever the same. And then hoping that by us taking people on these experiences that we're educating them and hoping that they're going to then go on to care for the environment a little bit better. And what's next for Navigate Expeditions is very exciting. So I really hope to do more multi-day trips where we can um, make a longer and more lasting contribution. With more time, we can really relax, focus, build deep connections with each other, with nature. That's my future goal is to hopefully create some longer cultural conservation, citizen science programs for people to come down and really get immersed and stay longer on the Sapphire Coast of New South Wales.